This is a new from Devil's Trifecta and you're watching the daily football news. Let's begin. We begin with one of the most sensational transfer sagas in footballing history inching closer and closer to completion. Yes, I'm talking about him transferring to Paris Saint-Germain for a whopping fees of 222 million euros from Barcelona. Now, even though the move is believed to be very close, there is no guarantee that this will eventually be done. Simply because there's a lot of money involved in this and money always complicates things. Now, the biggest problem that PSG will face in this is complying with the financial fair play rules and there is no escaping that. Even Spanish league chief Javier Tebas feels that PSG will be breaking the laws if they eventually see through this transfer and he intends to complain to UEFA about this. Paris Saint-Germain are owned by Oyrex Qatari Sports Investment. Now they have a sponsorship agreement with the Qatari Tourism Board which is believed to be around 200 million euros. Now Javier Tebas feels that this inflated price has actually fooled no one and there is no way that the sponsorship value of PSG is higher than that of Real Madrid and Barcelona. Now Tebas is spot on when he says that and but the problem is if he intends to see through his complaint to UEFA of the French club there's a lot of worms that will come out in the process and no one will be the wiser. Now while Javier Tebas threatens to report PSG to the UEFA for spending so much on Neymar, his league champions Real Madrid are planning to spend upwards of 150 million euros for an 18 year old with one good season. Now I'm pretty sure that Tebas is aware of this fact and yet he threatens someone else with the same crime. According to Forbes, Real Madrid's revenue last season was 620 million euros which means they are planning to spend in excess of 25% of their revenue of last season on just one player. Now, Tebas' hypocrisy aside, this deal does not make any sense for Real Madrid. Now, he may be just 18 and a long-term investment, but the fact is a price tag so huge puts the pressure not only on the player, the club, but as well as the manager to make things right and play him just because of the huge fees that the player commands. Now, it is a known fact that this Zizan has been pursuing the player from a couple of seasons but the fact is even though that this Zidane likes the player and his attributes the price tag will force him to play him more and more which will not only hamper the player's progress and be detrimental to the team. Now it is a World Cup year and Kylian Mbappe should stay at Monaco to pursue his future and his dreams and the potential he has seen last season. Now, if he moves to Madrid, the move may eventually become out good but the risks are way too high for the player and the club themselves. Moving on to Women's Euros Championship going on in Netherlands. Now, England, Denmark and Australia have joined host Netherlands in the semi-finals that are to be played on Thursday the 3rd of August. Now England face host Netherlands while Denmark face Australia. So who did these teams beat in the quarterfinals to make it in the last four? Well let's find out. Now first up were Netherlands against Sweden. The host ran out comfortable two nil winners against the Sweden side. Now next up were Denmark who faced reigning champions Germany. Now Germany opened the scoring in the third minute but Denmark equalized this early in the second half and in the 83rd minute stunned Germany and ended the 22 year old reign of the Euros. Austrian keeper Manuela Zinsberger was the hero as debutants Austria beat Spain 5-3 in the penalty shootouts. The match finished goalless and the penalty shootout, Zinsberger was the hero as he saved the last penalty from Spain, ensuring that her team reached the semi finals. In the last quarter final of the tournament, England faced France with the fact that the last time the English beat the French was in 1974. 
but Jody Taylor, who is the currently the tournament's leading goal scorer, ensured that her team went on to the semi-finals, where they will face the host Netherlands. Moving on, now, in an extremely bizarre statement. Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger has said that players in the last year of their contracts is an ideal situation for the club themselves. Now, he was talking about Mesut Ozil who is in the last year of his contract and is unwilling to sign a new contract. Now, Wenger believes that uh, for a player who is running down his contract will have to have a very good season in order to woo potential suitors ahead of next season. Now that would sound good if the number of players that are running out their contracts would be limited to say one or maybe even two and they were not a very important part of the first team. But the fact is for Arsenal Ozil is a very important member of the team and he is not the only one that is in the last year of this contract. Now, eight first team players, most of whom are extremely important team members, are in the last year of their contract and Wenger might be speaking with regards to Mesut Ozil but the fact is players like Sanchez, Gibbs, Wilshere are also in the right last year of their contracts and hearing that it might give them a wrong impression that new contracts might not be offered to them and this might have the exact opposite effect that Wenger is hoping for. Now, this season is extremely important for him given that he finished out of the Champions League spots last season and if even though the Arsenal board has given a new two-year two contract to him, if the team finishes outside the Champions League paces once again, his job might be under threat. And that is why Arsene Wenger needs to get down to the matter and get players like Ozil, Sanchez, Oxalate Chamberlain to sign new contracts as soon as possible and get these 10 situations out of the day. Because if not, it might prove fatal that players look for other clubs in the middle of the season rather than concentrating on Arsenal and their chances of winning silverware this season. This is it for today's edition of the Football News. Now, if you like the video, press the button on the left and if you are new to the channel, press the red button on the right to get regular updates from my channel. Until next time, this is Abhiman News signing off.